Wrong button. Let's get this party started. What do you want? Oh, go away. Damn pop up. Assuming the game loads, of course. Right, let's find out what the hell is going on in Bigby Town. Start. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's no. missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. Oh, and yeah. thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I didn't do I guess nothing. I finally see you for who you are! What? Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Oh, that's right. I'm all beat and bloody. My arms are broken. It was a good show, but you know, just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Yeah, beautiful. Definitely. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. What queen, you? There we go, back business. to reality. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Oh, great. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Wonderful. Easy there. Try not to move. Uh, hey! Oh, you ow! You can't keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. What... What happened to me? There was... You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. <laughs> me. Sounds about right. Uh, yeah. Please, oh, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor! Oh. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Really? Really? All right. Does this qualify as moving while he's trying to surgeonize myself? You know, you could help instead of just watching for a fight. <laughs> Oh, oh. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. Thanks. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. <laughs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes. But it's not like you actively discouraged it, either. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. 
I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so I'd, uh, I'd prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. <laughs> Look at hey, all Doc, that how much blood. longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, <laughs> you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> there. All done. Great. How does he know? This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you yeah. is the morgue. No silver to the heart. Got it. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, you could don't say that. give him the excuse. <laughs> His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. <laughs> Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, <laughs> as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. <laughs> I'm clearly Swiney? doing a bang up job of taking care of myself. <laughs> so, how do you, um, feel? It's Great. Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. How do you think when? I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> thanks, buddy. I'm glad you're not dead. That makes two of us. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. I died? It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Should we do something I've about the arm? never More seen you like it. that. Yeah. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... You dead? You were really worried about me. He thought I was dead? Jeez. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And when is this gonna should be over? I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? The crooked man... Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. Yeah, he what do you mean? Seem you desperate. traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder- Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. You weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Yeah, Colin. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a... He wants... Lone you know shark, he wants? He wants that clearly, booty. he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? 
Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, I but know. I know they it know. does. Somehow. The what Crooked the spell? Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. What are you talking about? So. Starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. Oh. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only what? ever do what's we necessary. We were getting really? shot at. Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Right? Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Uh, Just let him do it. About I'm that. going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? Do it? It's just that... Do it. Now that I'm deputy mayor, do it. I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour... Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs! <laughs> There's gotta be something. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. What? Guess Going who's on. waiting in your office right now? That one girl. The hooker. Narissa. Narissa? <laughs> That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What, what are you do mad? you think that could be? Uh, like Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Yeah, that's. Probably a bad thing. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah, that'd be a good... Yeah. Consider the discussion table, yeah. but not over. Yeah, about that. Let me what? know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Hell no. I mean, she seemed real serious about it. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Besides, I killed it. your house or whatever. Thanks, Bigby. <laughs> that was a cool painting. Hello. That was the intro, alright. It wasn't quite as action packed as the last intro. Adventure.
in sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Hooker in sheep's clothing? Hi, Narissa. Oh my gosh, Be Wolf, the big bad wolf. I get it. I get it now. Only took me f three freaking episodes. I, um, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm you peachy. didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smoking. I better smoke. Or I'm coughing. I better Huff smoke. And cuffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. Then why are so you that here? spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. That's You're here to because try. the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Gotta try a different Sometimes, approach. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. Okay. Okay. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now, they're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. I don't know what you're trying to tell me! So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. I look out for everybody! <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know, I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. Can't we figure- find a witch to break the spell? Like, I don't... <laughs> I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Oh, the ribbons. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? It makes sense. Can we just take it off? Do it. Take it off. <laughs> take it off, baby. Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! The lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Is that a reaction or you will it kill you? You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Or is that why their heads are chopped off? Please. Don't. It's the ribbon! They tried to take the ribbon off and it chopped off their head. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... Oh, 
I'm trying here. Emotionally... Uh... Something. Bad. If anyone finds out I came here... Hide! That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Uh, sure. I could be in a lot of... trouble. I'm gonna have to tell Snow. She has to know about the ribbons. If you have to, just... don't tell anyone else. Oh, she jealous! Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank what you for they... listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Think... Wait, you don't have to go. So it has some- they're involved somehow. She perked that up. That was... abrupt. And she's telling That's you to go. One way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Yeah, exactly. Okay then. Good work. <laughs> yeah! Let's not take the ribbon off. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? That she was trying what to tell us. What they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Definitely. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... Financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Like the crooked man. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to yeah, the crooked I man, do. do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Um, okay. That was weird. She's all like, I'm your partner, and now it's like, yeah, I gotta go. I guess she is technically the, and like, you didn't mayor. Want to tell me what you were into With either. good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret, too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't principle like of what? You weren't keeping secrets, too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen. Fine. Go off in a huff. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. <laughs> hey, guys. How's it going? How's the marriage? Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I don't know. I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So what, what if neither you, of you? Maybe. Yet with all what the sneaking around called? and secrets, somehow I'm what if still that wasn't the bad snow? guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my Oh, back? shut up, you whiny bitch. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. 
I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. <laughs> I can tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into the beast. I just don't think we can trust okay, him. Okay, so I guess Beauty called him. My back. Damn it. Mm. You run Talk about living in the past. Oh, trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring Don't it. knock! What the? Out of money. I guess I really do have to touch to everything. <laughs> I'll just knock we'll over your face. No big but deal. We need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. 